Hello YouTube, um, today we're going to be changing an ABS pump uh, on a Jeep JK 2017. As you can see here, I've been getting the ABS light and the traction control light. Okay, and when you diagnose it with the code reader, you get C. 2116 code so I got a used pump here from a junkyard and I'm gonna change it the plan here is to replace this unit and then bleed the brakes and then take it to a shop to flash the ABS unit because once you change that part of it, this is the control module. Once you change the control module, you're gonna need to, to flash it to match the VIN of the car. Obviously, there are a couple steps that you can do uh, before changing the ABS module, which is to check the fuses, um, the fuses that, uh, correspond to the ABS unit and if everything looks fine there are a couple other steps that you can do as per the manual and then if everything fails uh, then that means you have to change the pump okay first thing first we disconnect the negative side of the battery I cleaned it a little bit especially around this area just to avoid any any dirt going in the unit and I spray painted those two pieces here and here uh, they were a bit rusted and this is kind of normal I've seen it in many used ABS uh, units and now I'm gonna take out the uh, the, the one in the Jeep and replace it with this one first we gotta disconnect this part here the electric harness uh, and then we're gonna remove this one screw over here disconnect one two three four five and six and then pull it up I did label those uh, tubes here the metal ones just to make sure to connect them to the right spot uh, when you put in the the new one and first thing is we have to disconnect the electric plug and just i'm trying to show you here there are two pins kind of where the the metal is touching you have to push them in and pull uh pull this cover up See that now you can pull the cover up and take it out so now I have this glove here ready to cover it so I covered the electric harness just to keep it clean with a glove and now I can start working on the ABS pump. I took the original unit out and I put in the new used one if I can say in and just one thing I forgot to mention is that I did spray a little bit of WD-40 while I was pulling out the original unit 
so I did spray the bottom part here because this is really hard to take out when uh, you're trying to pull it now we're gonna put everything back and try to keep the area as clean as possible Everything is back in place. The next step would be to bleed the brakes. Um, make sure to top it off, uh, the master cylinder, top it off with the proper OEM uh, brake fluid. And then you start by bleeding the tires the f from the farthest one in the back all the way uh, to this tire, which is the closest to the pump, the last. After you change the ABS unit and bleed the brakes, uh, it's not over yet. If you uh, examine the car with the code reader, you will get uh, some different codes about VIN mismatch and um, other things as well. That is because, like I said before, you still have to program uh, the car. You can do it at a dealership and they charge, as of the date of this video, something maybe around $160. Or you can go to a high profile uh, mechanic and they could do it for a bit cheaper so those will not disappear until you program it all right that's all uh, and good luck